Hi guys, yes, it's night time again. You know what that means? Another nighttime dumpster dive. Let's go. Whoa, better switch the lights on. Woohoo! Check out tonight's score. We have a massive HP Hewlett Packard Design Jet 500 wide format plotter, complete with uh, stand. Looks in very good, very good nick, and uh, ah, contains all the colour cartridges. No idea how much uh, ink is left, and if we have a look around the back here, we have also got a pretty decent size roll of uh, plotting paper on this thing as well. So if this sucker works, then uh, got an absolute score here, even if it doesn't work, heck. You know, uh, tear the thing down, salvage all the parts out of it. Now, somebody who would buy and own a printer like this, you've got to think that they would know the value of it and they wouldn't toss it out working, right? So you would have to think that there is actually something wrong with it. Well, only one way to find out, take it back to the uh, lab and check it out. And the good thing is, woohoo! comes on wheels, look! <laughs> and away we go! Woohoo! And of course you've got to make sure it actually fits in the lift. Yeah, barely. Check it out. Woohoo! Well, it's powering up and making noises. Whoa! Geez, sounds like a jet starting up. Fantastic! Still initializing. Please wait, please wait. Oi! Paper menu, press enter. Well, it's, you know, the basic uh, hardware works. We've got ourselves the GUI. So I guess I'll uh, feed some paper in and uh, see, uh, surely it uh, has the ability to do some sort of uh, test print or something like that. I don't, oh, there's the ink levels. There we go. Our black is, uh, I assume, that means empty or, or almost empty. But the others, the colour ones, Still not bad at all. The yellow's half down, but the others are practically full. Awesome. Job management menu. Press menu for system setup. Ah, oh, that's it. All right. I don't know how to use this thing. Log. Log. Oh, we could have a look at what prints it's done. Print heads. Let's have a look. Errors. See, let's see if there's any errors. Here we go. Select error for more info. It's only a couple. Let's select the last one there. Error code red sp dot c. Hmm. <laughs> Date two thousand and six. There you go. That's a hell of an old uh, error code. So let's go up here. So first of June, that happened. It's now what is it? The fifth of July. So oh well, that's not too long ago. But that maybe could be the reason why they turfed it out, or it could have a physical fault. We haven't even tried to print yet. And here's some printer info, the uh, firmware 3.04 paper usage. It's done 7,687 square meters. So assuming that, uh, you know, it does a one meter wide sheet, unbelievable. It's done 7,000 meters of that. Are you kidding me? That's a lot of printing. And ink used, <laughs> 2,000. 582 cc on the black, less on the colour, so it's done most well when you combine the three to do various prints, but it's certainly been used uh, more for the black. So there you go, scan axis usage, 4% paper axis usage, ah, oh, spittoon, <laughs> like in the old Wild West. And I'll, uh, I won't actually hock one up and do the uh, sound effect there for the spittoon, just picture Back to the Future. That's all I'm saying. Back to the Future Part 3. And uh, pinch left, cutter usage 56%. Um, what, does that mean like there's only 56% of the life of the cutter is used? I don't know. Um, ink usage 5%. Eh, eh, interesting. Anyway, um, I don't know much about this uh, printer. I haven't actually looked up the uh, specs on this thing or the age of it yet. And I just found the uh, date code on the back. The um, 1st of December 2000. So the thing is 13 years old, but still it looks in pretty darn good nick. So I'm going to feed this sucker 
I don't know how to do this, but I assume I just, whoop, it detects it. Does it? Is it going to auto, auto suck? Come on, auto load. Checking paper. Hey, the head's going. Way, that was quick. All right. Trimming roll edge. It's going through an extensive uh, procedure here to check the paper alignment. It originally had to be aligned up with that. It gave me an error with the line marker, but now it's significantly out from that. Now it's saying it's trimming the roll edge. And uh, this thing is, hey, there we go. This thing is serious about uh, getting its paper alignment, let me tell you. All right, well, the paper's successfully loaded. I'm going to print the printer information. There's no, like, I can't find, like, any demo or anything in here, so I'm just going to go enter and print. <laughs> oh, the whole machine's wobbling a bit as that head flies across. I guess there's a lot of mass in that, and it's moved pretty quick. Yeah, it's printing. It's printing. Here it is. We have a winner, folks. This sucker works. Can you believe it? And that looks like decent print quality. I've got it set to um, fast print quality. So that is terrific. It's done. And that, folks, is a winner. Awesome, and more than awesome.